Good morning guys! It's almost the end of our vacation but we still have two days before we go home. So today we're going to a little town called Lewis and actually this is the view when we get to our car. I hope you can see it because of the sun but over there there's something that looks like a castle. I know it isn't but it does look like it. And there are two windmills. windmills on the top of the hill. So we just had a lovely chat with the owners and there's a cute little kitty over here. Oh, let me show. Watch out, Dodger. Watch out. Watch out, there's a car coming. Hey, cutie pie. Hello. Nope. <laughs> so Johnny has to back out over here. And this is a very small street. I showed you last time, I think. Oh, we're taking a route we haven't taken before. New territory. Adventure! <laughs> now what's so beautiful over here is that there are trees everywhere. You'd think you'd be in one big forest. And you know, the UK really looks like it's got lots of nature, lots of trees. But we wanted to walk in a just in a forest. Just go for a walk in a forest. Preferably with a little creek or something. But there just aren't any forests. These trees are just maybe two or three trees next to each other. They're actually to how do you say that? So the trees are here just to to, to separate the fields from the yeah. roads, I guess. Yeah, to separate your property from other property or separate fields or just next to the roads. That's it. So there's just two or three trees. Uh, but it looks like a forest. So but it looks really nice. You just can't really go for a nice walk in a forest. At least not that we, we could find. So this is a clip I just inserted. We're on top of the castle <laughs> and uh, here you can see what I mean. There are just little rows of trees around a field or a home or a road or whatever and it looks like a forest but in fact it's just this. By the way this is Hassox. A really cute little town that we haven't seen yet and well, <laughs> then I guess we have our way home. Yeah, we have our way home. Well, maybe on the way back. <laughs> and now we're at the town of Ditchling with the Ditchling roundabout. Ah! It really is one. Uh, as you can hear, we have some recyclables in the back. So we have some glass jars we need to get rid of, but we don't know where. So we take it everywhere with us. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay guys, one, two rows of trees, but very pretty. And we're here guys, so I'm very curious to see what this is. It's got lots of history they say. Well, this looks historic. <laughs> okay. So all the bookstores we want to go to are closed. So I hope this one is open because I want to see children's books. Well, we can do this. It's open! So I did find the Nellis book and I don't know this one. And over here... Oh, I do have this one. This is the one that I tear to pieces for my art journals. <laughs> so let's see if they have more. It must be over here. That one. I think I really want. She's got a green dress. I haven't seen her in a green dress. Oh. Okay, so I've got my first books. Uh, I'll show you later on. So this is a little church that has no top. Or how you say that. <laughs> Looks very old. So we're going into Lewis right now. So we're at the end of the high street. And we're just, or the cliff street, what was it called? Mm -hmm. Is this the high street or the cliff? Uh, I don't know. The main street. I'm just gonna go down to the castle. We really wanted to go here, but it's closed. Oh well, they, they have other bookstores. Book so guys, we just started our day. We've been to well, four uh, or five uh, shops. A bookstore and two thrift stores. Yeah, two thrift stores and we already have this. So we thought we'd walk back to the car and put it with our glass. <laughs> 
so we're not gonna recycle that but we are gonna recycle that so we're gonna get go back in town and buy more <laughs> and then there was a river that looks a bit yuck <laughs> but still that's a river so Jan pushed me the other way up this bridge and now he's gonna let go <laughs> that looks nice and we've got lovely weather again guys so this part we just did looks really nice actually it's really cute town so let's explore some more look children books all children books i love it there must be something over here there must be <laughs> yeah. maybe over here I'm gonna look. <laughs> you got it inside. You should be able to get it outside. Uh oh. <laughs> We've got a problem. <sighs> We're almost at the top of the hill. And we hope it doesn't go any further. But look, I have this. It took a bit of doing, but we got my wheelchair inside the Italian place where we got some homemade lemon neck and well, let's see what we want. Pizza, I think. It's pizza time again, guys. And Johnny has a... Calzone. Calzone. Calzone Porto. And I have a margarita with extra ham. And it looks delicious. <laughs> So, bye! <laughs> so, Jan is buying tickets for the castle, but we're not sure if I can go inside. So, um, the carer from, for a disabled person is free, so you should think you could go inside, but I can only see lots and lots of stairs over there. I can walk some stairs, but those are a lot of stairs. Oh well, we'll find out. So, this is castle, Lewis Castle and Gardens. This castle is one of the first castles built after the Normans, Norman conquest of 1000, how do you say that? 1066 by one of William's conquerors closest allies. So, a bit of history there. <laughs> hey, we'll find out. So, we're inside the castle grounds. So actually this is all I can access. <laughs> well, that's fun. But I think I'm gonna try and do all those steps. Normally that would be okay, but I did walk a lot because it was kind of steep, uh, the street going up. So Jan pushed the chair, chair and I walked, but I can try. So first we'll take a turn about the room, uh, I mean the garden. Okay, how many steps? 130. And you think I can do it? Yes, you can. Perhaps no, I can do the steps, no. but then... Well, we'll just see how far I can get. Boy. 129 to go. 128 to go. <laughs> oh, look at this. So did they have steps back then? Aha. Uh -huh. That's a good question. Oh, look, this is pretty. So we just came up these stairs and then when you come in you see this <laughs> that's not creepy so this is what it looked like so kids can play over here dress up that's really fun <laughs> and then you can take pictures with yourself and the creepy guy over there. So Jan's gonna go upstairs and see if it's beautiful enough for me <laughs> to take these stairs as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he's gone. It's very beautiful, so here I go. Okay. 
that was so creepy, one of the creepiest stairs I ever climbed. But, but, you don't see anything. Oh, we're high up. I can't even see, the, I can't even see over the wall. Look at this, guys. So they're building new houses right next to the castle. <laughs> wow, this is insane. White cliffs. Eek! And the Johnny. <laughs> okay, it's worth it because the view is amazing. Uh, we were all the way down there. <laughs> we still have got a long way to climb. So now we need to go down there again and then go up all those steps. But I can do it. I did this, so oh well, I can do anything now. I'm on top of the world. At least this castle. At least this tower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, guys. So I forgot to bring my little Alice figurine. I always like to take pictures of, with Alice. Places I go, but I keep forgetting her. She's in my wheelchair, which is down those steps. So I'm just sitting on a bench and Jan is getting it. Getting her for me. Let me show you where we were just now. We were all the way up there. What? Insane. <laughs> ah, it's nice to rest for a little while. Phew, flames are coming out of my shoes by now. Can you see it? <laughs> this is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, what a nice pot to play Jeu de Boule. I don't know what you call it in English. In Dutch it's Jeu de Boule. <laughs> really nice. Unaware of us. On top of a castle. So that over there, behind that building, there is a little mountain. And they... Well, the people of Lewis built that. And there was... What was there? A little wooden cabin or something on top. So that was a defense little hill. That's the beginning of the castle, so now it's far away from the castle, but that's where it all started. At least that's what they say over here. Now, I see your silhouette, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, look at all those beautiful flowers. They have such beautiful flowers over here. Look at it. It's September and it's full of flowers. And over there even more that makes this look way prettier than it actually is to be honest so over here you've got a door and in here you've got a room full of chairs amazing <laughs> oh you can go inside So here you can see how it used to be. Pleasure gardens. And there's nothing in here. <laughs> so there's a window over there. And there's a window over there. There's a window over there. <gasps> and there's a window over there. And there are creepy stairs again. Dare I? Well, I've come all this way. So we just took the wooden stairs, but actually these are the original stairs. This is all that's left. If you can see one or two steps. <laughs> so now... We go up here. You go first, Johnny. Yeah, we're all the way on top, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear me, so I'm not going to say anything because of the wind. But look at this. First of all, steps. That's very handy. Even for me. Oh, well, I can see it. Yeah. So that's the county hall. Well, stuff. Isn't this 
just gorgeous. Let's go around here. So it's not built to be gorgeous, but it is. And here we have a huge, huge tree. We were just down there. <laughs> Let's just see. So over there, let me zoom in. Next to it, white scaffolding, I think. There was the prison. And it was built in 1853. But it's still a working prison. <laughs> I can't say that. It holds, uh, it houses over 500 prisoners. And it says here, Mick Jagger of the group The Rolling Stones was one of its most famous residents. In 1967, he was briefly held there on remand, uh, charges, charged with possession of cannabis. Mick Jagger, oh boy, naughty boy. So he was a resident of the Lewis prison. <laughs> and now it is on one of these little information boards <laughs> that he was held there. <laughs> Actually, that's so weird. So now they're proud that Mick Jagger was, uh, he was what? He was charged with possession of cannabis. <laughs> That's funny. You enjoying this, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so he doesn't need those steps? <laughs> or do you? Uh, not really. I think you'll fall out if you use one. Even I don't need them. <laughs> This is awesome. Can you believe it? I walked all the way upstairs and even in the tower. And so did Jan. That's the most amazing part. <laughs> but now, go Johnny, push me around. <laughs> so it's time to go back home, guys. Well, to our cottage. But just one more day left, but I bought such great items. But I'll show you later on. And uh, there are cobblestones over here, so I'm gonna stop filming. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So this is the final day in the UK. Tomorrow we're going home again. And we have to get up really early. So today we're gonna pack all the mess that we have over here. All the items that we bought and stuff. And uh, right now we're going off to the Esda to get two bananas and one dessert. <laughs> so it's a 25 minute drive for two bananas. Oh well, you have to do something. So uh, let's go. Oh, but first I want to show you. I hope I can show you. This is our view when we're eating. Oh, uh, this is the table. It's quite a mess right now. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the view when we're eating. Well, actually for me, this is the view. So, oh, there's a pussycat. Hello, Dodger. <laughs> but for me, I only see uh, this. But Johnny is a bit taller and he sees this. Right. Amazing. So did I show you the sunset? That's amazing over here. Okay. Anyway. We have to get all this stuff <laughs> into the crates. I bought that yesterday. And, and Johnny. It's Johnny's and mine. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's go to the Esta. So here we go for the last time to the Esta to get some bananas. <laughs> See, Johnny. Okay. I see <laughs> the sea. Oh dear, That's so original. <laughs> That's lots of water. So here we are at the Esta, and they also have George, which is the clothing brand. 
that I really love. So I hope I can find something nice. Fingers crossed. Last day. Okay, guys, the challenge is to get all this stuff, <laughs> all of this stuff, into this crate again. So it was neatly packed, some parts of this, but we were looking for a book. This book, because Jan finished his book. <laughs> yeah, so we had to unpack a lot, and now I have to try and get it back in. That's gonna be so much fun. But I can do it. I can, I always can, so. But you wouldn't think that this would be, you know, us going on holiday without kids. <laughs> because I'm gonna have a hard time fitting everything in those crates. <clears throat> to be fair, we did buy a lot for Nortje. Okay, I'm gonna have so much fun. Next shot you'll see is this all cleaned and packed. Or me being very desperate. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We're ready to go back home. Look how clean everything is and how empty. <laughs> we just have to take that with us and ready to go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ready to go? Yes, I am. Uh... So we want to leave, but ah, hmm, there's a car blocking. It's just a shame because I we told her yesterday we we're going to leave early. But you can see this. Look how pretty that is. Goodbye, beautiful rolling hills of England. closure so it's gonna be two lanes so I hope or it's the start of traffic for 18 hours like you know last time <laughs> oh dear but luckily we're driving again for now look guys the sea we're almost there and well it might be that we're taking a boat early or we have to wait for two hours, two and a half hours. <laughs> Probably the latter, but we'll see. And here we are, and then you can see the cliffs. So, uh... so guys, we're lucky we've got a boat, an earlier boat, so that saves us two hours. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go, two hours earlier. So instead of three o'clock Dutch time, we'll be uh, on the other side, one o'clock Dutch time. We're very lucky. And the weather is amazing. Awesome. <laughs> well, we're gonna film until we reach the other side. <laughs> Dunkirk. Nah. Way more wind. I look pregnant now, guys. Look. <laughs> what? So I think that one is going to Calais. And that one just came from Dunkirk. I think, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Guys, how lucky are we? I mean, it's the 20th of September. It could be raining, it could be sort of wind, it could be storm, it could be horrible. And look at it, smooth as a mirror. It doesn't even move. You can see by the boat in the right that we're moving, but we are always so lucky. Okay, maybe I should not say this because we still have to reach the other side, but look at that. And I hate boats, so uh, I'm very happy with this weather. Okay. Johnny is getting something to eat, by the way. There he is with coffee. 
Okay. Hot chocolate and what did you bring? Two muffins. Oh, we did have some breakfast. We got up at actually six, uh, so that's seven Dutch time. We're on Dutch time again, and uh, we had a banana. And it's now eleven o'clock. So we're hungry. So actually, this is kind of breakfast and hot chocolate. So we'll be nauseous when we finish this. Eight smack. Look. And we're in France again, guys. <laughs> we're back in the Netherlands. You know what that means. Yeah, French fries. <laughs> and <McDonald's>. Finally. <laughs> Eight smack. Look. <laughs> so at the McDonald's there was there were four teachers and a bunch of school kids, a lot of school kids. And I think they've been on a little little trip or a long trip, I don't know, but they're eating at McDonald's. And what did you think? Thank God I've retired. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely vacation. Yeah, it was. Ha. <laughs> okay, just uh what is it? Four or five more hours to go. We can do this. <laughs> home sweet home. Back home again, guys. <laughs> it took us 13 and a half hours. From when we drove away until we got here and there's all kinds of packages on my desk oh my gosh that's a lot <laughs> and a pig hi pig so my beautiful floor i always love seeing this floor when we get back from holiday this is for later i'm still in holiday mode so it was our first vacation in years together well we do go on little trips together four days maybe maybe sometimes five but this was two weeks and we absolutely loved it that's because John, johnny is retired and we can do stuff like that so yeah we're gonna do that more often it was amazing it was wonderful it was relaxing and now we're gonna unpack the car jan is already getting the first items so i'm gonna help him and then we're gonna call the kids and tell them we're home again and that was it for this holiday i hope you enjoyed taking along with us and uh we want to do more little trips in the netherlands so you're witness now <laughs> because we made plans that we can do a little trip every five six weeks and go i don't know places we've never been in the netherlands just for one day and then take you along with us so if you like that let me know so if you like this these um holiday videos please give them a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i have creative videos every monday and wednesday starting next week i hope <laughs> and then i have disney videos and alice in wonderland videos on saturday and something in between if i have something to show you so that's all for now oh boy i'm tired we're gonna unpack the car it was an awesome holiday thanks for tagging along and all that's left to say again is groetjes from holland Bye.